Forward! A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for Tomahawk Basin. I'll sing away! As the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode over the rim of the great Tomahawk Basin, they saw thousands of Texas longhorn steers milling in the plains below. All along the lowlands, cowpunchers hazed the cattle with a dozen different brands. Chuck wagons and campfires dotted the edge of the herd, and the milling hoops raised yellow dust that hung like a cloud over the land. Well, this is Tomahawk Basin, Tonto. Home of the man we're after. Ah, uh, that man named Steele. Benjamin Steele. Cattleman and leader of the Black Arrow. Black Arrow all broken up now, Kimasabi. Nothing left to gang. The Legion of the Black Arrow is smashed, Tonto. The five leaders were not put in jail because proof of their guilt was lacking. That's why we're here. We put Benjamin Steele in jail? Won't be easy. He's a power in the cattle country. His cattle graze over more land than the eye can see. He's got ranches and men scattered all over the West. You and I have a good idea how he got to be so powerful. Uh, with guns and shooting. Yes, but Benjamin Steele is crafty. He covers up his tracks too well. He controls too many people. Those he cheats are afraid to open their mouths against him. You think maybe him here in Basin for Roundup? His brand is a tomahawk brand, Tonto. Some of those cattle down below must be his. Mm, maybe others, too. Yes. You know, at Roundup like this, all the ranchers work together. Then they go through and pick out their own brands. We'll... Uh, keep us up, what's that? Right below us, Tonto. A uh, man on black horse. Him look plenty mad. He's ranged up against three riders. I know it looks like trouble brewing. And what we do? Pretty soon they use guns. Follow me, Kimosabi. We'll break up that quarrel and ask questions afterwards. Come on, Silver. Get him off the couch. All the night morning, you to sling a diamond hitch on your tongue. Any more loose talking like that, and you'll get daylight through your middle. I want my cattle, Pharaoh. Take them, and you're welcome. But don't go cutting out no steers wearing the tomahawk brand, Sam. Then loose your rope off that wall-eyed longhorn. Holden, this steer's wearing the tomahawk brand. Your eyes gone loco? My eyes are a heap better than your say-so. The last time I set eyes on that steer, he wore the Bar-A brand. Somebody's aching for trouble, Farrell. Let the six-shooters do the talking. You hear that, Holden? You better van moose before it's too late. When I go, that steer goes with me. Uh, Who changed that brand? Uh, there nobody changed that brand. Are you uh, calling me a cattle thief? I'm just asking you who changed that brand. Say that once more. Now, there's more three of you against just me, Pharaoh. But no sneaking coyote's gonna face me down. If it's gun smoke you want, then gun smoke you'll get. 
You're a lion yellow hombre because that Longhorn's brand's been changed. Get him, Farrell. Kino, slap leather, Alden. What the... Throw up your horse. Blazes, you shot the guns from their hands. No time to argue. Head for the hills. Hello, slap his horse. Get him up. Oh, God, you let loose of the rain. Come on, Silver. Get him up. Jump out. The Mavericks, Farrell. That hombre wore a mask. Still numb from his bullet hitting my gun. He's a slick hand on the trigger. What are we waiting for? Whip up the oh, horse and let's get after him. Oh, 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 easy, Dan. Oh, oh, easy. It's all right. But Sparrow, I say. Like your reins, I tell you. In the first place, her hands are still numb. We couldn't do no real shooting. And in the second place, olin has got a fast horse. So are the other two hombres. There's no use chasing the wind. Yeah, reckon Besides, so. we got the cattle. That's what we was told to do. Olin won't be back in a hurry, not the way he's traveling. Yeah, maybe so. I still don't like it. And Blazes was that mask hombre, anyhow. Despite Alden's protests, the Lone Ranger and Tonto urged him forward at a steady gallop that left Tomahawk Basin far behind. The sun had set and the early stars twinkled in the darkening sky before the masked man threw up his hand and leaned back in the saddle. Steady, steady, boy. Oh, Move, oh, Mister. Mister. You've been riding hurt on me for two hours. But you were in front of me. And I never yet shot a man in the back. But now we're face to face. He must have me. I'll take that gun. Let go, out. That's better. Here, Tonto. Take care of this gun till we get better acquainted. Huh. Him mad like rooster. I don't know. You're friends. Mister, you're wearing a mask. And I mistrust a mask on me like I mistrust a coiled rattler. Well, bust my traces. What handle did you give that engine just now? What's that? That engine pard. Did you name him Tonto? Oh, me Tonto. A masked man, engine named Tonto, and your horse is a white stallion, you call him Silver. Mister, I'm plumb disgusted with myself. If I hadn't been boiling mad, I'd have known before this. You're the Lone Ranger. Yes. I was told all about you. I was told you might be around these parts. Not many people knew we were heading here. A woman did. Kimasabi. Did, uh, did you say a woman? Yeah, that's right. A couple of nights passed. I met her outside my line cabin. I didn't get a good look at her because it was dark. But somehow or other, I put a lot of trust in what she said. Go on. It wasn't much. She just told me to watch my step come round up time. And she also said that a masked man and a redskin might be showing up. And that masked man would be the Lone Ranger. You must have that mystery girl. What's that, Injun? Uh, never mind. That's the Tonto and I came here because of a note left for us by that same girl. Oh. Well, mister, now that I'm cooled off a bit, I'm bound to admit you saved my life back there in the basin. Hell, it was three against one. Yeah. Except for you, I'd be food for the buzzards by now. Some, uh, some trouble about cattle? Yeah, a gent named Pharaoh had his rope slung around one of my steers. So I noticed. My brand's a bar A. My name's Alden. Jeff Alden. That's how come I put that brand on my steers. An A with a bar sticking past it. Oh, that's plenty easy to change the tomahawk brand. Yes, Injun, but I never figured there'd be any of that. Gosh, Benjamin Steele owns a tomahawk. He's a mighty big man. He wouldn't rustle cattle. I'm not so sure of that, Alden. From uh, what you say, it looks as if he has. Oh, no. Pharaoh done that. Pharaoh? The man I was fixing to trade bullets with when you rode in. He works for Steele. Looks to me like Pharaoh switched that brand of mine for his own sake. Uh, but wait, Alden. What can Pharaoh do with a tomahawk brand that belongs to Steele? Well, Pharaoh draws his pay in beef, mister. It'd be mighty easy for him to count extra that way, seeing how big Steele's herd is. Steele would never miss him. Alden, suppose I told you you're mistaken. Huh? Suppose I told you Steele is the biggest cattle thief in the country. Would you believe me? <laughs> You're joking. Am I? Benjamin Steele, a cattle thief? I don't believe it. Well, that trouble. Nobody believe it. Uh, you're not serious, are you? That's what Tonto and I are here to prove. Well, I'll be... Gosh. Will, uh, will you help us, Alden? Well, mister, you saved my hide. Whether I think you've got the right idea or not, there's just one answer. Of course I'm with you. Good. And the first thing to do is to make sure you get your cattle. Now you're heading up my trail, mister. With you behind me, I'll make Pharaoh turn them cows over plenty fast. I don't know, I'll leave you here. But you said that... I said we'd help you, but we'll have to do it our way. I want you to head back to your spread, Alden, and stay out of trouble till you hear from me. You understand? Well, I... All right, mister, whatever you say. I'll be waiting. Good. Tom and I don't know where we'll start, but... What in thunder? I came behind the trees. I shot. It came from over that way. We was outlined clear against the sky. Follow me. We'll head in that direction with the trees to protect us. Honey, only one shot. Keep your eyes open, Tonto. It's plenty dark. Hard to see. Whoa, whoa. Mister, look what's underfoot. In the rim of a canyon. Alden, that shot must have come from the other side. 
can't see him. No use, Tonto. Close to your gun. He's well out of revolver range. We can't catch up to him because the canyon's in the way. Did you hear him laugh? Who was that, hombre? You didn't recognize that laugh? Not me. Did you? Mm, Tonto not here before. He's a stranger to us, Alden. But that laugh... Yeah, sounded just as mean and ornery as the howl of a mountain lion. Whoever that gent is, he's not apt to be pleasant company. Head for home, Alden. Kino, you're the head man. Adios to you. Get up, Blackie. Why fellas shoot rifle? Him not try to hit us. It was too dark for that, Toto. If you ask me, I think it was a warning to us. A warning to mind our own business. You know what that means? Uh, and only one fella do that. Yes, Toto. I'm as certain as you are. That man was Benjamin Steele. <laughs> <laughs> when you laugh, Senor Steele, <laughs> when you laugh, it makes the shiver to run up and down the spine, no? Yeah, there's nobody can beat Benjamin Steele, I breathe. Mm, you are a very dangerous man, Senor. But his mask rider, he too is very dangerous. <laughs> I'll whittle him down, Breed. He is the one who single out to discover and defeat the Black Arrow, Senor. I'm the biggest kettleman in the West. Before I'm through, I'll control every longhorn that travels on four hoofs. I hope so, Senor. You hope so? In the last year, I've taken over more than 100,000 head of cattle, haven't I? Yes, senor. But the way you do it. What about the way I did it? <laughs> you rustled cattle. You burned ranches. You cut off the water and forced small cattle owners to sell out to you for your own price. <laughs> so I have, Breed. But there's one thing I've been mighty careful about. Which is, senor? That I made certain there's nobody or nothing can point a finger at me and prove I've been crooked. <laughs> but you have been crooked. I said prove it, Breed. There's a lot of difference between saying it and proving it. I skin mighty close to the law, but I play my cards real careful, Savvy. You are one smart hombre. I hope you keep on being smart, yes? Read, I'll tell you something. The Lone Ranger knows who I am and how I operate. He came out here to get the goods on me, to put me behind bars, but he'll never do it, Breed. Never. Well, let's forget that. What about Jeff Alden's cattle? You made all the arrangements? Si, senor Steele. I give order as you direct to Faro. He will carry them out. Kino, then that... Senor! What a tarnation. Who broke that window? No, senor. Horses. Somebody's been listening. Senor, look. Look what I find underneath the broken window. This bull. Here, let me... Reed, it's a super bullet. That was a lone ranger. The lo... Senor, this is not good. You laughed at the lone ranger before. You give him the challenge. Now, with this bullet... He returned the challenge. Yes, Breed. I reckon there's going to be more trouble than I figured on. There, light and window. That means Jeff Alden Homer. We'll soon find out, Tonto. We're in a steady service, steady boy. We'll talk to Alden and tell him what we heard at Steele's ranch house before we... Fuck that! The fool! Alden, don't shoot! We're afraid! Him still shoot! Can't to see gun flash from corner porch! Follow me, Tonto! Come on, Silver! Get him up, Scout! You get him! Steady, Silver! I'll take that gun! What's the matter with you, Alden? Don't you... I... I should have waited. I should have waited till you were close to... I'm sorry. This woman! You must be Mrs. Alden. We're your husband's friends, and he can vouch for us. Where is he? he? His horse came home an hour ago. But the saddle was empty. Something's happened to Jeff. Something terrible. <laughs> the curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. to continue our story. Mrs. Alden, unnerved because her husband's horse returned riderless, fired her gun as the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode up in the darkness. But the masked man quickly explained that he and Tonto were Alden's friends. 
A short time later, they brought Alden's horse from the corral. Uh, can you bring horse, Kimasabi? There. You can see for yourself, masked man. Stirrups hanging loose, the reins broken. I'd say he was dragged from his saddle. Uh-huh. He must have met someone on the trail. He held onto the reins as he was pulled off. That's how the leather snapped. Maybe it was something else, mister. Maybe he got off himself. No. You haven't noticed a scratch on the saddle. Scratch? The mark of a spur scraping on the saddle leather. If he got off himself, he'd have swung his leg clear. Isn't that right? That mark mean him dragged from saddle. Oh. It'll be down very soon, Mrs. Alden. I might be able to follow the trail and see where it happened. What? I'm afraid. Now you'll be safe. There's been things going on, mister. Our cattle's been disappearing. We got only half the herd left. Once our water was poisoned. One time there were shots fired through our window. I wanted Jeff to sell out to Steele's tomahawk spread and leave this country, but, but Jeff wouldn't. He, he's mighty bullheaded. Sometimes bullheadedness is just another word for courage, Mrs. Alden. All I want is for Jeff to be safe. Tonto, uh -huh. I want you to stay here with Mrs. Alden. Make sure nothing happens. Uh-huh. Tonto, watch good. Steady, big fella. I'll be back as soon as I can. Come on, boy. Tonto, I, I wonder when, when the masked man comes back, will he have Jeff with him or, or will he come alone? It's high noon, Tonto. You haven't had since the uh, Tonto, not hungry. Oh, I reckon I ain't hungry either been hours. We watched the sun rise. You look. Rider come from north. Tonto. Tonto, is it? That Lone Ranger, that silver. Tie, tie. Injun. Injun, you got good eyes. There's so much dust. Tell me. Is the masked man alone? Had to got Jeff riding behind him. Well, him all alone. Oh. <laughs> Tonto, I need your help. Saddle scout. Ah, me get him, Kimosabe. Mister, you came back alone. What about Jeff? He's in trouble, Mrs. Alden. He, he's dead. No, he's not dead. I'm sure of that. But then we're... He's not dead. But unless Tonto and I can save him, he won't be alive very long. But, Mask Man, I don't save him. Where is he? What's happened to him? That's what we're going to find out, Mrs. Alden. I think he's been captured by outlaws. Ready, Tonto? Uh -huh. You're ready. This way, then. We're heading north. Come on, Silver. Get him up. Scout. No. No. <laughs> That's what you are, outlaws. Ornery, yellow-backed cattle rustlers and thieves. Only this time, I got you dead to rights. You don't say, Alden. If you didn't have me hog-tied and roped, I'd Never shoot... mind the talk, Alden. It won't do your liquor good. What are you waiting for? Why don't you shoot me and get it over with? If you don't keep quiet, that's what I will do. What's holding you back? Because I got orders, that's why. I got orders to make everything look as... Well, you got your mouth open, but you stopped talking. Never mind. You got orders from who? I said never mind. You'll talk later on when the mask man catches up with you. Alden, I'm going to tell you something. There's a reason I ain't shooting you now. Yesterday I would have because you'd have drawed first. It would have looked on the square. But if folks was to find you now with a bullet in you, it might look planned. So you're going to die a different way. You're not smart enough to figure that out for yourself. Who's given the orders? Why do you think that brand was changed yesterday? To get you riled up so you'd slap leather. Yeah, I reckon you would have beaten me to the draw. You always been mighty slick with a six-shooter. Too slick for an honest man. <laughs> well, let me out of these ropes. Let me out. I'll fix you so as you can. Hey, hey, hey. Where'd them cattle come from? Over the lip of the arroyo. That's uh, Rusty hazing them along. Those steers look familiar. Yeah. Yeah, and take a look at that longhorn lead in the parade, Alden. Take a good look. Well, I'll be first cousin to a coyote. That's the steer you misbranded yesterday. Yeah. Those are my cattle. What are they doing here? You lit out in a hurry yesterday, Alden. I had Rusty do you a favor. Had him cut out your brand and bring him here. Let him stand, Rusty. Hold him up. All set, Farrell. What are you sneaking hombres up to? You got a horse for Alden, Rusty? Nice, gentle horse that he can ride with his arms tied? Yeah. What's going on? Keno, Alden. Reckon I might as well tell you now. We're going to move that herd down toward your ranch, going nice and easy, so the dark of the night will cover the last half of the trip. You'll be in front on a horse with your arms tied good and tight. I, I don't savvy. When we get close enough, we're going to stampede those longhorns, so they run right into your ranch house and trample it to kindling. What? But you won't see it, Alden, because we're going to take care of you first. <laughs> when the time comes to stampede the herd, I'm going to hit you over the head with the butt of my gun, knock you unconscious. Then I'll untie the ropes and leave you there on the ground. Right in front of the cattle. Mm, smart hombre, huh, Rusty? Figured it out quick as a wink. Yeah, Alden, right in front of the cattle. The stampede right over you. And later on, when you're found, it'll look like it was an accident. You can't get away with it. You can't. And don't keep looking around for help, neither. 
Covered up a trail, Savvy. Covered it up so nobody could find it. Get him up on the horse, Rusty. It's time to start moving. But Pharaoh was wrong. Although the trail had been covered with care, the men who searched for it had the keenest eyes in the West. Or even the best guide or the cleverest woodsman would have wandered in circles. The Lone Ranger and Tonto did not fail. Slowly but surely, they followed the faint signs from the point where Alden had been yanked from his horse, across rocky slopes, through clear rushing streams, and dense strands of chaparral they went. Until just as the setting sun was casting long shadows toward the east, they came over the lip of the arroyo. King Wasabi. Steady, Silver. Steady, boy. Yes, Tonto. Campfire. Alden was kept prisoner here last night. Uh, place empty now. Look at the signs, Tonto. He was put on a horse here. And different horse from first time. Then they set out this way. Came down this slope and... Hello, look. Ah. Ooh, hello, ooh. Heard a cattle move south. Alden went with them. Cattle not moved by themselves. Signs show they herded along. Yes, quite a few hours ago. Kimasabi. What is it? You look to south. There's plenty of dust way off. Cloud of dust. The cattle made that tunnel. Ah, and what we do? Keep going. If we cover ground, we'll catch them soon after dark. Now we can travel. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Easy, Silver. Easy. Slow down, Otto. That's the herd. Uh, it's plenty dark. It must be the herd. Get away, that singing, Rusty. Oh, all right. Listen, Tonto. The singing, the better. Everybody quiet. Pretty soon we'll come time to take care of Jeff Alden here. King Wasabi. Tonto know that man. That man, Farrell. He's got Jeff Alden there, Tonto. Oh, Silver. Oh, 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 oh. And what it mean, take care of Jeff Alden? I don't know yet. Maybe we go and find out, huh? Yes, Tonto, we could do that. Even though we can't see how many men there are, we still could... No, wait. What matter? Our main job is to get Benjamin Steele. If we attack now, we may not find him there. Ah. We'll have to wait and see what they're planning to do. Maybe that dangerous. And we'll have to chance it. Tonto, this herd is heading toward the upper end of Tomahawk Basin. Alden Ranch up there. I'm going to stay here and trail along with this herd. I'll keep well hidden. You ride ahead. Get Mrs. Alden and have her get as many of the ranches as she can rouse. Head north again until you meet the herd. Tonto Savvy. On your way. The noise of the herd will cover Scout's hoofbeats. Adios. Adios. Get him up, Scout. All right, Silver. Just the two of us now, boy. We've got to be ready. There's no telling when things will start to happen. <laughs> I reckon we're getting pretty close to your ranch. Looks like a light up ahead. You can't go through with this. Sparrow! <laughs> hey, Sparrow! Rusty, I told you to talk soft. There's no time to waste, Sparrow. I'm scouting up ahead. The whole posse of riders heading this way. He said? Yeah. They'll be here in ten minutes. We gotta skedaddle. Skedaddle nothing. We're going through with it. But I tell you, Ten minutes, Sparrow. huh? That's plenty of time. First, I'll take care of Alden. A gun. For you. Oh. I'll catch him, untie his ropes. Kino. The steers are close behind us. I'll head back to the rest of the men. Now, when you hear me fire a shot, then let Alden fall out of the saddle. Yeah. He'll be right in the path of the steers. Kino. And once we get the herd moving, those riders will be so all fired busy stopping the stampede from running over the ranch house that we'll get away in the dark. Go ahead, Farrell. I'm all set. Get up there. Get up. <sighs> ropes untied. You won't be alive long, Alden. Just as soon as Farrell gets back to the herd... Don't move. I... What in thunder? You're covered. Stand back. I'll take him across Silver's shoulders. Mask man. Mask man. Don't talk, Alden. What's that? Farrell's signal. Mask man, that's Farrell's signal. He's stampeding the herd right this way. What's that? The herd. It'll stampede right over us. So we'll have to ride for it. Straight ahead. Put your horse to the gallop. You'll never make it. Your horse is carrying double. Silver will make it. He's got to. Straight ahead. Here they come. Get up. Get up there. Come on, Silver. Faster, boy. Faster. <laughs> We've been riding for almost an hour now. Are you sure that herd was heading this way? Ah, uh, not sure. Plenty soon we pay. What's that? Engine, that sounds like cattle. Uh, shooting. That herd. Then make them stampede. Oh, it's the Lone Ranger. Keep us happy. Tonto, there is no moment to lose. We got ahead of the stampede. Those cattle must be turned aside. You got Rusty Marlowe with you. Rusty's an outlaw. We have to get the rest of them. And, mister, you got Jeff. I see you got Jeff. He's safe. Yes. Can you take care of him? I sure can. And I can take care of this skunk, too. I got a gun. I know how to use it. Good. All right, you men. Are you ready to follow me? Yeah. 
Use your guns. Turn that herd first and then capture the outlaws. Now, come on. With Silver flashing ahead and Skulk close behind him, the posse raced forward straight toward the pounding cattle. At a shout from the masked man, shots rang out over the heads of the bewildered steers. The leaders slowed down, turned and wheeled. Suddenly the whole herd milled into a circle. The stampede was over. Sweeping onward, their guns blazing, the posse closed in on the schemers before they could recover from their surprise. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Keep dropping our guns. We got them. Yippee! We got every one of them. Mister, I, I don't know how to thank you. You saved my life, my home. Well, you just about saved everything. Where's Pharaoh? Pharaoh? Why, why, Pharaoh's dead. What's that? Yes. Pete Haskins found him off to one side. His horse must have stepped in a gopher hole and thrown him out of the saddle right in front of those stampeding longhorns. I... I see. Tonto, come with me. Ah, uh, you lead, Tonto follow. Goodbye, Alden. Goodbye, mister. And thanks. Get him up. Come well, I reckon that's one more good turn the Lone Ranger's done. He saved your cattle, Alden. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>